I just grew up in rodeo all my life. Um, started as a young child in junior rodeo and just continued to go um, all the way through high school and then into college and then rodeo professionally as well. OSU has had some fantastic people, rodeo people, rodeo athletes come through here uh, way before I did. And I'm most excited about we are on solid footing now and we have the ability to su sustain that success and really build a consistent program. You know, coaching is, is an interesting thing. It's little things that change a student and help them be successful. All right, keep moving now, Remy. Keep hustling. Get on your chest. Be aggressive. Have some fun now. Lots of lift now, Kyle. Really bear down. Straight down that rig and I turn them toes out and get a hold of something. Have some fun. Get the elbow down. Hey, good effort. Good work. Keep hustling on her. Let's not always going out and just we rebuild a student or something like that. It's maybe just a small tip here or there um, that can really change their, their path and, and what can help them be successful. My favorite part about the culture of OSU Rodeo is we've always been a good tight-knit group. It's the OSU family. I think it just reverberates through the, through the entire university and into the, obviously, our rodeo team as well. That just means the support, um, the togetherness, willing to help each other no matter what, and, and always striving to see your peers or your members of your family be as successful, if not more successful than you are. Um, and that's really what I think our, our team has, is they're, they're truly excited to see their teammates do well. Being able to continue to maintain that family, that supportive culture, um, even with a large team, has is, is been great. It's a different relationship, for sure, you know, compared to what a professor may have or something like that. Um, we're all pretty close. We spend a lot of time together, and I help them through a lot of different aspects. You know, we talk about their classes, we talk about where they're at, um, whether they may be struggling in, how, they, how to study for tests, how to prepare for these uh, large projects, as well as getting better and working hard in the rodeo arena and how to reach those goals that they have set for themselves in, in rodeo too. So it's, it's an interesting dynamic, but I, I love it. It's like a family with the Hollingsworth family as a whole. Um, Coach has always been there to support, and so has his wife. Ever since I was a freshman and came to the first team meeting, they've always said, think of us as your, your family away from home um, here at OSU. Uh, we're here for anything you need. Uh, if you need anything, let us know. And I really feel like that they meant that. Um, they ha always have been that. If you need something, I'll be there. Coach is more than a coach around here. Coach has always kind of been a mentor, making sure we make our grades, but not only make our grades, but uh, succeed in and out of the, uh, the arena. Knowing that somebody's there for you to help you through the rough times, even if it's not winning a rodeo, he's also there on the, on the low ends too. I'd tell coach, thank you for everything he's done. Um, thank you for helping me through and always supporting everybody on the rodeo team and being there when they need them the most watching students develop and grow to be successful. Um, you know, watching a student come in as a freshman and work hard and get better all the time and then continue to be successful on the college level. And then even the students that we've been able to send on that have been successful uh, professionally in rodeo, but also professionally um, after graduation. Being able to see these students that have come through the program and gone on to graduation and do great things uh, professionally in their career is, is really rewarding.